yesterday we learned about the peel technique that we use to structure our paragraphs. So today what we're doing is actually going to plan out our peel paragraph by looking at our burger plan from last week. So what we want to do is look at our argument number one and then today we're going to put it into this template to brainstorm our ideas. We're not writing it, we're not writing it out in full sentences today. What we're doing is expanding our ideas so that we actually had a really juicy paragraph when it comes time to write it. So just to recap what PEEL actually is. Our P stands for point or purpose. So that's where you state your main point and you want to make sure you know exactly what the most important thing is that you want your reader to know. And then E stands for evidence and explanation. So here you're going to find facts that make up your main point and you're going to use quotes and statistics and expert opinions to back that point up, that main point that you've said first. And then the, th the second E stands for evaluate. So how does that evidence, how, does that, how do those statistics, how does that expert opinion back up your main point that you put for P? And then you need, at the end, you need to have a linking sentence, and that's what L stands for, for link. And that's going to link that point to the next paragraph. Sometimes you can tie that back in with your topic as well, but you're going to have to think of some ways to connect your points together. Mm. Which helps the flow, of course, if you're persuasive, so it's not jumping all over the place. Okay, so if we look, we've created just a pretend uh, burger plan for the purposes of today. We've called it Curing COVID's Curse. So our, our main, our persuasive is about staying at home and stopping the spread of COVID-19. So our main argument number one, we've brainstormed to just put a dot point saying that limiting contact protects the vulnerable by stopping the spread of germs. And we've did a branch of in the air and on objects. So what we want to do is take that idea and expand it into this paragraph. So what is the main point? What is the main point that we're trying to say? It is limiting the contact. Limiting contact with people will help protect our community and our vulnerable our people. So that's what we want to put in here, just in dot points. We don't need to put it in big long sentences. Are you going to type it for me, Mrs. Ryan? In. Yes. Fabulous. Okay. Moving on to uh, our explanation and our evidence. So this is where we elaborate. The first point, the P, that's just really one sentence. It kind of introduces your reader to what you're going to talk about in that paragraph. But here, this is where the meaty part of the paragraph happens. We're going to explain what we're even talking about. So we might say, um, by limiting, uh, limiting our contact with other people, we're stopping the spread of germs. So we're not touching each other, we're not hugging. And then we might wanna actually find some really robust um, evidence to help back up what we're saying. You might um, Google something that Scott Morrison, our prime minister has said. You might look at statistics of people that are getting sick and where it might be spreading. This is just, of course, for our um, example here. When we move to evaluate, it's kind of saying, okay, what's the point of telling us all these statistics? What's the point of including a quote? What does it mean? So we want to actually say, uh, look at our information, sorry, and say, okay, well, Scott Morrison, or our health minister, has said X, Y, Z. This illustrates that our government is taking the threat of COVID-19 very seriously. And we, as a society, must do the same. So you're linking up your evidence to, to your evaluation of why it's so important. So our last point of our paragraph is our linking sentence. It's also kind of a concluding sentence. It's saying that this is the point I've talked about and it's, um, this, is why it's, this is why it's important. So we could say something like, um, by protecting our vulnerable people in society, we are helping to flatten the curve. Um, something along those lines, you're concluding it. Because remember our whole, our whole point of our thing is flattening the curve, staying at home, keeping our vulnerable safe. And now for your turn, you need to click on this link here, which will take you to making a copy of the document. So you will click on make a copy, and it will allow you to expand on your ideas here. You are able to type directly into this box. When you have finished, all you need to do is attach it to where your teacher requests the writing to be submitted. Good luck.